Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Hannah, and welcome to Crypto Bible. I know I've kind of taken a little bit of a of a day off today. Um, then you know I usually get around four or five videos out, but it is just one day off. I thought I'd um, enjoy the day. Uh, just watch a little bit of football as well. But we are back, and uh, there was a news update that I wanted to get out to you guys because um, yet again, Binance is in the headlines for the wrong reasons. Um, you know, it's not looking great. You know, one place we haven't really heard too much of. Um, would have been India uh, because cryptocurrency is huge in India and obviously Binance is used there as well, but they are um, actually under investigation now there. Uh, so there is another article that I'd like to present to you guys. Um, and it's a little bit different because, you know, with this is just kind of showing you another problem that is involved with Binance. And to be honest with you, it all just looks a little bit dodgy. Um, you know, what we've been seeing recently is a lot of updates in regards to Binance taking certain things down, certain features of the app to show that they are beginning to comply with the FCA's needs for us in the UK anyway. Um, and they have been doing it, uh, doing it throughout Europe as well, for instance, Germany. Um, and, you know, so it's slowly kind of going along, but then another bombshell just gets dropped on us. And um, in this case, we have got this right here. So India reportedly investigating Binance in Chinese money laundering case. Now, you know, this doesn't come as a shock in regards to money laundering, but Binance is being um, investigated because uh, India reportedly um, investigating Binance for a Chinese money laundering case. So, you know, I don't really know what's going on there. We're going to read it. And I'll see what we make of it. Indian authorities are reportedly investigating cryptocurrency exchange Binance in connection with an ongoing Chinese money laundering case that raked in more than 10 billion rupees or $134 million. Now, obviously, one of the main reasons why banks have stopped us from depositing money into Binance was because of money laundering cases. And again, we've seen a lot of examples of that happening, um, of you know people getting caught. Uh, they had like, what was it, $178 million pound worth of crypto was seized in the UK due to money laundering. So there is a lot of it going on. So, you know, on that front, it doesn't really surprise me. But it's just, you know, with Binance and all of this happening, this is the problem with their regulatory requirements. They're not, you know, they don't have everything in place to make sure such things are not happening, if that makes sense. So Binance's regulatory troubles continue. India is reportedly investigating whether the global cryptocurrency exchange Binance had any role in a Chinese money laundering scheme involving betting apps, local media reported Friday, citing people with knowledge on the matter. Now, this isn't saying that, you know, they've definitely done it. They are literally just saying, um, you know, if they have a role uh, in the Chinese money laundering scheme involving betting apps. So that's quite that's quite an interesting one there. The country's enforcement director, ED, a law enforcement agency under the Ministry of Finance, has summoned Binance's executives for questioning, according to the people who asked not to be identified as the matter is still under investigation. The case centers around betting apps run by Chinese operators. They allegedly raked in more than 10 billion rupees over the past 10 months. They were suspected of laundering part of the money through local Indian crypto exchange, uh, Waz IRX, I don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, which was acquired by Binance in 2019. So responding to the news, Binance said in the statement, we did not receive any summons in June or July of this year. As per available info in, uh, in the public domain, uh, the summons was directed to only Waz Wazrix. I'm assuming that's how you say it anyway. Okay, so that's quite interesting there. Um, and that is a lot. Of money. 134 billion pounds, uh, dollars. Wow. Um, so this uh, this this uh, exchange was actually acquired by Binance in 2019. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. A lot of people actually think that CZ is a dodgy guy himself. Um, and, you know, the more news that comes out about it, you kind of got to question yourself, man. You got to question it because, you know, he's been behind Binance for such a long time now. And obviously one of those articles that we saw not long ago was that he would step down if someone was in a better position than him that knew more about regulatory requirements so you know it's quite interesting to see how this story does develop um now like, i'm not trying to say that he's just going to stop working or he's just going to step down completely um the guy's got a lot on his back right now and we know that so it's just going to be quite interesting to see how he does end up fighting this situation as well as everything else going on there must be a lot on his back 
and we're running out of countries to have problems uh, with Binance. It's literally country after country. So yeah, we're kind of running out, but you know, we'll have to wait and see how this develops, man. So uh, the exchange continued. We work closely with regulators, law enforcement and industry leaders around the world to further the security and sustainability of the industry while providing the best services and protection to our users. A growing number of regulators worldwide have warned Binance about operating in their jurisdictions without being authorized. And this is where it gets mental because then they start listing because you never think of it as being, you know, everywhere. But then they start, these include regulators in Malaysia, Japan, the UK, Cayman Islands, Hong Kong, Thailand, Germany, <laughs> Lithuania, crazy it's literally crazy commenting on the mounting regulatory scrutiny binance ceo cz said that the company is looking for a ceo with a strong compliance background and binance wants to be licensed everywhere and become a financial institution so you know this is this is what we're waiting for right they want to be licensed everywhere because the problem literally just is that they are licensed nowhere right now um again we've obviously had the problem with them not having any headquarters either and um, that's been a huge, huge issue um, of concern for a lot of countries and a lot of regulators as well. So, you know, that's another problem that they've got to deal with. Um, but, you know, again, it's just going to which I, I can't, in my personal opinion is that every country is probably going to end up having their own version of Binance um, just so they can adhere to each country's or each jurisdiction's, as they call it, each jurisdiction's um, regulatory requirements, because, um, that just seems the way it's going to be moving at the moment, which could cause some frustration, you know, simply due to the fact that we know that Binance US has a US version of Binance. And, um, you know, it's nowhere near as 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 fluid as 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 the other as a normal exchange. Right. They ain't got anywhere near as many cryptos available on there. The fees differ as well. Um, so, you know, it, it may cause a lot of problems, uh, but we're just going to have to wait and see how that one does develop uh, again guys i do apologize for getting the news out quite late had a little bit of a rest day today but you know we'll be back tomorrow smashing them out left right and center you know how it goes um and obviously any other binance update or any other you know big news update anyway you know i'll be here um so just look out for that and um, i should be back tomorrow morning um, around half eight nine ish uh, so please be sure to look out for that guys the lunar competition is still running uh, to win 15 lunar that will end on the 4th of august i believe it is 4th of august um all you gotta do is comment on one of my videos saying that i want to win 15 lunar screenshot it join my discord send the proof of that screenshot of that comment to me in the discord and you'll be entered to win 15 Luna. So make sure you're doing that. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please be sure to leave a like if you have. Subscribe if you haven't already and ensure your bell icon is turned on so you don't miss any uploads. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take it.